So in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to Repeat Grid. Now, I think Repeat Grid is one of the most powerful features of XD, and we're just gonna spend a couple of minutes learning the very, very beginner basics as to how to use Repeat Grid and how it's gonna save you a bunch of time in your design work. So when you're doing UI design, you normally find there are lots of elements that need repeating um, and they're very similar to one another but the content might change so the form factor of them would probably remain the same the design of them is probably very similar however the content inside of those elements changes and that is where repeat grid really comes into its own so as you can see there are a number of elements within my UI kit where repeat grid has been used so I want to show you in the tutorial file how to use this best so I'm just going to pop in one of the little chips from the UI kit and then I'm going to go up to the right hand section up here and just hit repeat grid. Then we can use these handles to drag that content out and down and then you'll see these spaces come up and we can also alter that too to give us really nice consistent spacing of our repeat grid element. Then we can drag that as an entire section to wherever we want to take it. And then if we want to change the content inside of this, we can just simply drop in new content. So I have a folder of images here. So I could change that. I could take that to like a flat iron building. Uh, I prefer a different photo for that. Um, let's do that one. And then just double click inside of each element. To change any of the titles. Or anything you want. Now, this is just the very basic of how to use repeat grid. It comes into its own when you actually want to experiment with design a little and we'll go into that in another video. But just as a basic to get you started, that is the one of the most powerful features for me of XD.